Today on Guess What I Found Out, we're going to discover some facts about the Sahara Desert, which, spoiler alert, is not just a giant sandbox waiting for a cosmic toddler to flip it over. And Curious George, buckle up, because what I'm about to tell you is going to make you question everything you thought you knew about deserts. Bold claim time. Ready? Here it is. The Sahara Desert used to be the biggest, splashiest, grassiest, hippo-filled water park on Earth. Yes, the same place where modern tourists melt faster than an ice cube in a microwave was once a tropical getaway. Let's ruin your understanding of reality together. Like and follow before the hippos come back and file a complaint. So here's the part where your brain tilts slightly. The Sahara Desert, the scorching 9.2 million square kilometer heat lamp we all know and fear, was once lush green, full of lakes, rivers and wildlife, so happy you'd think they were filming an early Disney movie. And I know what you're thinking, Curious George. There's no way hippos strolled through the Sahara unless they were on vacation. Cute, but no, they lived there, permanently, rent-free. So what controls these extreme Sahara mood swings? Well, it's the Milankovitch cycles, which describe the way Earth wobbles, tilts, leans, and generally behaves like a spinning top that's had one too many. The specific cycle that flips the Sahara switch is called axial precession, happening every 26,000 years. It changes where the strongest sunlight hits during different seasons. About 12,000 years ago, Earth tilted in such a way that the Northern Hemisphere got blasted with extra summer sunlight, boosting monsoon winds. Rainfall moved